Hello everyone. In this session, we learn to model and analyze two-span PSE composite I-guided bridge in Midas Civil. So let me give the overview of the model that we're going to generate. So this would be two-span 45.64 meter long simply supported composite bridge. So which would be consisting of three precast post tension girders which are spaced at three meters center to center distance. We'll be generating the model using beam elements and then we'll define the construction stages. So the behavior of the bridge under static loads, pre-stress loads and the moving loads would be examined in this session. And after performing the analysis, we'll see the, how to extract the results in Midas Civil. So in this tutorial, we will learn the following things. How to generate the composite sections, how to assign static and pre-stress loads, and then define the moving loads as per BS 5400 part 2 and then we'll define the respective construction stages then we'll define the composite sections for the construction stages then after performing the analysis we'll interpret the results like tendon losses, forces and the stresses etc. So the specifications of the bridge would be the general configuration of the bridge deck and the substructure and the girder elevation so I'll be showing that so this would be the bridge type PSE composite bridge and the span length simply supported two span 22.8 meters each span and the width of the bridge is 9 meters overall and we'll be following BS 5400 part 2 for our moving load definition and CEB FIP code for the time dependent metal property definition. So this would be the general arrangement details of the bridge. So this would be my 3D view of the bridge, how it looks. I'll not be modeling the abutments. I'll take them as a fixed supports. I'll be modeling the PO and the PO cap. So this would be my girder section. So I'll presume these dimensions for my girder. So I will not assume any uh, tapering for the girders. I'll assume these dimensions for all of the girders of the bridge. So this would be the dimensions of my pier cap and the pier shaft. So my pier cap is tapering. So these are all the dimensions I'll pre-assume for the bridge project I'll be doing in this session. So this would be the girder elevation. So I'll be taking 40 mm expansion joint between the two spans and the girders would be 3 meter center to center, the three girders and the end diaphragm and the internal diaphragms so this would be my thicknesses 0.4 meter would be for the end diaphragm and internal diaphragm would be 0.3 meter thick so, so one simply supported span is 22.8 meters so now let me open Midas Civil to generate a new file so this is how the starting page of Midas Civil would look like. So let me give an intro about Midas Civil first. So this should be my file icon. So I'll be having new open, close, import and export options. You can import from STAD also. So this would be my main tabs starting from view, structure till the tools. So before that let me click on new file to generate a new, do new file. So left side is this tree menu. So here you have tables, works, group and report. So all the information that is there in the model would be automatically recorded in the works tab. So this would be my view tab. So you have all the view options here. In the structures tab you have the structure type, the wizards, main wizards and the US UCS and all other miscellaneous options. And this would be the node and element tab where you have then create nodes and the node manipulations, create elements and the element manipulations, mesh generation and all of the features and next is the properties tab so you can define your material properties from here and the time dependent material properties like the creep and shrinkage, compressive strength and the plastic materials and the section, section properties and all other options. So next would be the boundary tab so I can define the supports, spring supports, links any uh, offsets releases so this would be my load tab so you have different type of loads that can be simulated in Midas Civil so you can select from that static dynamic loads static loads you can give the loads and dynamic loads you can perform the response spectrum time history analysis 
settlement you can do the settlement analysis temperature analysis and the pre-stress construction stage analysis and the moving load according to your code so you have wide where list of uh, codes that are available for you for perform for performing moving load analysis heat of hydration so this is regarding the load tab and then the analysis you can control the analysis and then perform the analysis after that you can go to the results you can make the load combinations and uh, view the results bending moment shear forces stresses and the reactions and all other results and then you can perform the PSC design and you have pushover and design like RC design and steel design till the tools so these are all the miscellaneous options so you can observe like everything is chronologically ordered so the GUI is very simple and it's very user friendly so this would be my uh, so this would be my model window so left side you have the zoom all other options the view options and this is the message window and the analysis message window so I'll go to so let me start the modeling of my bridge from the scratch first I'll go to tools to check my unit system I'll click unit system here length is meters force kilonewton temperature celsius I'll click ok let me go to properties tab to define the metal properties first I'll click on metal properties I'll click on add to add a new material to my model so I'll select the type of design so you have steel concrete SRC and user defined I'll first select concrete so this gets highlighted so I'll select the standard so you have wide variety of codes to choose from I'll select BSRC DB stands for database I'll select the grade of concrete as C40 for my superstructure so you can maximize and minimize from here so these are the properties for C40 automatically taken by the software so I'll click apply similarly I'll change the database to C30 grade so this is for my substructure I'll click apply so all the materials have been added here next I'll change the type of design to steel to add my tenon property for my pre-stressing stance so I'll say type the name as tenon I'll select the standard as BS04 I'll select the grade of steel as S355 so let me save the model first I'll select S355 and I'll click apply so next I'll define the dummy material property so I'll type the name as dummy I'll select user defined so now I'll change the modulus of elasticity to 2.7 E7 poison's ratio I'll take 0.2 thermal coefficient 1e minus 5 so be careful with the units so here I'll give the weight density as 0 because I'll be giving a dummy metal property so the software will calculate the sulfate as 0 so I'll click OK so these are my metal properties I'll click close 